mirror match, and I'm like, wait a second. That sounds Just awful. Exalted a cyber. I don't want to watch Luigi's no, ever. I, yeah, I don't think there's any here today. No, no, we have, we have other things though. We got Sonic. We got, I mean, Zero Suit Samus. Awful. I mean, I like Cyber. I like. I, He's a great guy, I, right? You know, I'm, I'm chill with that kid. <laughs> 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 Shout out to uh, LLCC. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty solid. We're not biased at all here. A little yeah, bit of ledge but, play. Uh, but I don't like Zero Suit Samus. That's where I was going with that. <laughs> That's good. I mean, I'm glad. I'm, you can watch this VOD back. And they'll be like, yeah. man, they're just dogging on my character the whole time. No, we're actually not giving any like review of the gameplay this VOD. No, they, it's not. Uh, that's not the important part. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do you see all those jabs? I know. I did. It's just like it's an inch away. Just out doing space. that to someone, just slam your hands right in their face. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just a slight miscalculation. On what if him has a sword? Exactly. I think that's the. Yeah, that's actually even scary. Oh, barely catching the top of his head too. Exalt is actually off to a pretty long to start. No, that was a fantastic placement for the blade beam. I think it's a blade beam. Blade beam. Is that what you call it? I think so. That seems reasonable. I can start doing that until someone tells me not to. Not to. <laughs> People don't question me just calling things wrong though. That's Twitch like chat will. You gotta be careful of they that. They do sometimes. Yeah. I, I embrace that one though. Ooh, back air from Cyber putting him off stage. Oh, there's a great wall jump in. there. He gets punished for it here, but Exalt is actually pulling out all the stops here once he's getting into top 16. He's looking to win. That's what he. He's here to win. That's his whole whole play. Not the first seat though, right? He's coming in as a fourth seat. Yeah, he's the first seat to defend. I helped with the seating. I didn't do the seating. I helped with the seating. They put Noodle over him for sure. You know better than me. We both have our phones in front of us. I don't. I don't know where it'll tell me. This is one of my dark secrets. As someone uses Smash I like the distance that Cyber's playing at. He's trying to keep Exalted more in its burst range area, and Exalted is having a little bit of a rough time up until he suddenly wasn't. Yeah, no, he's doing a really good job of just. Ending Cyber's challenges. Uh, whenever Cyber's playing a little more aggressively, he's having a hard time finding his ends with it. Ooh. That's really nice, though. I love his use of his plummets. Uh, I, I know he learned that one from you. <laughs> no, 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 definitely not me. That's a... If you ever want to learn something about playing against a booker, <laughs> he'll spam plummets. I'm telling you, that's the Mars special. Mars does that all the time. He loves those. I with mean, the specific CSS one. They're, they're better than they feel like they should be in a lot of contexts. I mean, like. It's a good mix I mean, yeah. You just you just don't spam them and you, you do a lot with them. And it's a great mix up. We see here Cyber's been slowed down the gameplay quite a bit. It's actually stops that blood flow because he's been having a rough time here. Nearly killing with that narrow backer is gonna keep the pressure up and he can keep chasing here. He's actually bought himself a lot of luxury over this stock. Yeah, and exalted again, like what I was trying to mention before, and he's just having a rough time finding an opening. Um, and he's gonna lose his stock. Thirty three percent on Cyber. And it's looking pretty even so far here. Yeah, Cyber's really even this one up. Is this the slow, slow down playing? I mean, I think he typically tends to succeed a lot more. And uh, this is a, a thing professed at Lincoln Land Community College. This will come up a little bit. We both coach there. He plays there. <laughs> uh, it's, it's the slow play. It's the... the you give away the bias. Yeah. Win, win by lame in the mouth. And <laughs> seriously, Samus is a character that really benefits from it. So while Cyber can really just get dominant in close-up play sometimes, sometimes he needs to slow it down a lot. And now they're both really just flirting flourishing on slamming on damage, but it's that same tempo that we man. keep seeing where Exalted man, is man. Uh, a bit ahead on the, the hit that matters. Yeah, you just close out the stocks way quicker than Cyber can, right? Cyber has to yep. win multiple yeah. neutral advantages, and the second that Exalted gets an opening, he just takes it yep. all the way into overdrive. And this isn't pools, by the way. This is top 16, and these are all best of five, last I heard. Yeah, so... so I'm not. I'm not too pressed about this game one. That's why I'm not. Right, right. Like, They're like, really learning each other. Way to go, right there. But uh, you know, there's a couple games left for these two. Yeah, I, players have not fought each other previously, so that's a that's a good one. Always love seeing new matchups. Yeah. Uh, one of the things though is that Exalted has very little experience with Zero Suit Samus's. Yeah, it's it's not so common. It's a character that was really addressed as being like real high tier previous to what. Just looking okay. into your eyes. Sorry, you're very mesmerizing. <laughs> no, I mean, at least in, in the region, there's not a ton of them. Uh, we, we have the the weirder slow-playing characters for the most part, especially GRV, but Midwest as a whole as well. So there's, there's fewer of them to be running into. Cloud, on the other hand, that's that's one of those... You find a million of them everywhere you go, and you can't complain about anything. Like, that, they do the thing. And uh, Exalted, I mean, it's, it's a matchup knowledge thing. It's a spacing knowledge thing and it's a lot of just the basic technicals i find a lot of
cloud mains always focus on that spacing as well. We saw earlier where he was able to just space oh, yeah. the up smash, kind of get uh, secure the kill. So they were really focusing on that, being able to space out with especially moves like back air, which is uh, one one might say a good move. I've heard. Yeah, just maybe. Great tell. <laughs> Speaking of good moves. Yeah, paralyzer crazy option coverage, and it's good. I mean. And it's not just something that covers a lot of options, it's something that really punishes a lot of options that it does cover. Uh, missing the, that charged up blade beam is pretty rough there for Exalted. He's losing out on this pressure, and he's already behind on percentage off of Cyber King. Really aggressive to start off with. He's not got his jump? I was about to say he's still got his jump, but that, that one eluded me. I think he might have snuffed it out. He was trying to jump back on the stage a little bit earlier in that interaction. And yet we find that Exalted is very heavily relying on his... Uh, kind of his charge, his limit charge here. People to secure kills or getting these up smashes. That one's not going to secure it, unfortunately. But like just mentioning before, his him messing up that B reverse really just put him into kind of the back foot for that uh, interaction first stock. Oh, there we go. But he knows he's still been in that percentage. He's happy to throw out the smash attacks. And Cyber, once again, just barely missing that spacing. That's what's been kind of turning the tide in a lot of these engagements is Exalted just getting really clean, really tight spacings, and Cyber just barely missing some tight spacings. Well, that, that's not going to do it, is it? It totally is. All right. Wow. I think Exalted could have died a little further up in the mine if they will survive that. It's a little hard to tell the pinpointing. I mean, like you said, it's a matchup specific thing because it sends it a strange... It's a weird angle. Yeah. I mean, you just die a lot from it, too. It, it kills surprisingly early. Yeah. Good delay on the jabs. They're able to catch Exalted and Exalted's playing pr pretty far on the back foot right now. Yeah, that was a big drop down up air from Cybers. Just continuing up his pressure. He got a bunch of jabs off of it. And Exalted still hasn't found his in until he finds that forward tilt. He's gonna be pressuring up with those up airs. They've done a lot for him so far, but Cybers patient through an up B. Good tech there, gonna be teching away. That gives some valuable information to Cyber, so he is gonna have to be a little bit careful. That should be the stock, and yes, it is gonna secure it. Yeah, Exalted, he's been wanting to burn those, just like you were saying, once he gets them, pretty much. Uh, so that's a big misstep for Cyber to not be thinking about that right there, especially putting himself into a lot of end lag while his opponent has limit. And he couldn't kill him with it with anything except for the down B iteration of Limit Break either. It is a fast out of shield option for the most part, but like you said, that uh, the end lag is so bad. Oh man, almost catching the tech no. in place. It's oh, oh no! no! He barely misses the kill twice in a row right there. 71%, he's still pretty safe, but we've seen what that down B can do. Oh, messing around right above Exalt is pretty scary, but there it is. Cyber's finally baited it out, and he's back on a bit of an even playing field. Even one where he's a bit ahead. He's just got to land that Paralyzer again and just get another redo at what he missed before. You gotta be careful though. Limit is still is something he has to be mindful of. Oh no! no way. Yes. Speaking of which, down air as well. That's great. And one of those weird things about that move is that it does send up, and it takes away the ability for Cloud to be spiking with it. Now he, he doesn't lack for it though. His forward air is gonna do plenty of spiking as well. That nice satisfying overhead with the Buster Sword, but. Down air also will really catch you lacking if uh, you're not ready for it. And it seems like one of those things where, where Cyber's actually getting checked by the matchup. And a few things here. I mean, that big uh, down B limit break um, and the down air right there. Those are both, like, options you definitely got to be cognizant of. When you're going up against Cloud, you can't just up B him out of nowhere while he's up there. Yeah, it's really the overextensions, right? Yeah, yeah, both of those are. Yeah, both those times, Cyber was heavily overextending and exalted. And when you give him an inch, he'll take an entire mile. So, able to secure stocks off both of those. And it just goes to show that the second that Exalted finds an opening, you you, <laughs> you better make sure your DI is right. Yeah. See, I think a really interesting phenomenon is the way that players will play differently on a single day, even within like an hour, depending on what the stakes are of the match. And I've not casted Exalted before. I've not seen his gameplay before. But he, he is a totally different player right now than he was early in pools. Uh, it, it's kind of weird to just go back and be just entirely be reevaluating character or a player, but he really is playing at a much higher level here right now. Doing, you know, he's bringing his A game, and he's deserving this 2-0 lead that he's got so far. Yeah, people talk about the phenomenon where you play as well as the person you're that's playing it, against, yeah. right? I always think that that's an interesting thing because um, people are more prone to not. Uh, turn their brain off a bit against certain opponents. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Cyber's not one that you can do very easily do that with. Wow, able to grab it. Well timed. 
Oh, but he didn't do the roll. He had an opportunity there. Even without the tech, he could have just rolled out to the side and avoided that one entirely. He does have a lot of percentage to be working with right here. He's finding the side beat going out. Oh, and he's perfectly baited out the air dodge, too. So he's able to even things up here pretty quickly. Exalted does have that first stock right off the bat, which sets a nice precedent for him going forward. Yeah, Cyber again trying to use that up B out of shield, getting punished a little bit. It's just slightly slower than what he needs. Oh, up tilt is just barely fast enough for Cyber, but up smash is not going to help him out there, missing its scooping hitbox, so he takes some damage even out of that. But resetting everything, he's able to find up airs now, and it looks like Zalt is out of his uh, jump as well. Yeah, we are close to limit, however. That is going to be online right about now. And Cyber's going to be very careful. Up tilt into up B is going to secure a kill, and any mistakes that he does make is a potential ruin for this stock, but... Uh, Fortunately for him, he was able to just use it on a blade beam. He's going to take a lot of damage, but his stock is safe. Huh. Is Cyber really mixing up the timing there? <laughs> what a way to use side B. Just wow. stopping Cyber from getting his chance to recover there. But he stood in place for a little too long. <laughs> his stock taken away. Paralyzer is a fickle mistress. It's a good move. That's all I, that's all I got to say about that. Yeah. <laughs> just covers so much, right? Roll in, roll away. Right, especially when you're stuck in the corner. That uh, that down smash. Oh no! Is that gonna do it? It will. Oh my god! It he will do it. No oh. limit. No jump. No limit. No resources. Lots of problems. <laughs> Cyber taking game three. Yeah, once again, is a player stepping up to the stakes at hand. Cyber <laughs> sees his winners run right there ahead of him. Right. And says no. Bam. Done. He sees the opportunity. Is that <laughs> that, that glint in the glasses of an anime character? He goes. Oh, I know. Awful. <laughs> Will not go softly into the night, right? No, not at all. I love that. You got him. You got him one of those as well earlier. He took a game from totally behind with a plummet earlier in pool play, which is it's just rude. Phenomenal. It's some rude. Stuff. It's so rude. It's all... Imagine you spend the whole game winning, and they just say, "But what if you weren't?" I play. What, I play what about Bowser? Spike? So like, oh, I, I, so it happens so a lot. So you, you see people do right. that. You, you don't really. You don't know. Yeah. You don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you, you don't do know how it feels. I have lost to other people that do that. I know the pain that it gives. Yeah. Is this a modded switch? I just noticed. It is. Huh? It's uh, it's got music and uh, the the funny menu. I like the music. New music's good. Yeah, we'll endorse I, I, it. I have no downside of that. What if there's just like 343, like the um that modern uh, piece? I can't think of the name of the composer right now. I it's it's silent for three minutes, for three seconds. Oh, yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Like, what if you just put, like, all music on there? I, I actually attribute all classical music to uh, Sousa. <laughs> I guess 343 by John Philip Sousa. Yeah, like John Philip Sousa. <laughs> <laughs> it's a... The problem, our, our band director, we went to the same high school, right? Me and Treasure and I, and our, our band director was just obsessed with the man, so that's all we played in. I hate Sousa. I, I play horn. He's kind of boring. It's the worst horn part. <laughs> I, I, I detest Sousa, but there's one. He's got one good mark. So if you've ever been, like, on ledge Anyways. versus cloud, right? That's kind of, like, how playing Sousa music is. Right? He's got limit. Stoffel. <laughs> I'm not following <laughs> at all. Had to bring it back. Woo! Okay. What is he? He's going for something okay, custom yeah, here. That's, that's new. Wow. Oh, he's wow. Some, he's doing something. Yeah, and I think that's the first time where Cyber's actually taking first stock in this matchup. He's starting to bring up that gas that he was needing off of the first couple of games. Coming in with the plummet, he's going to find the paralyzed, but not quite that forward air that he was looking for. Once again, using that plummet to mix things up, and Exalted is suddenly the one who's looking a little confused by what's coming next. When we were talking about it previously, down air 4, specifically ZSS, is so good because of that multi-hit. Right, that is like a two-hit move. Yeah, it's the capability of poking. Right, and so people have this problem where they'll drop their shield off the first one too. Oh yeah. Uh, and so you can kind of get some free neutral exchanges with it, and also it's a positioning tool. So you look at like Sonics when Sonics are like sitting in the corner and using their down air to really mix up their movement, and when they're going to be approaching, ZSS can do the same, in, but in the air it makes it very scary to deal with. Oh, Cyber came out swinging right there. Up air after up air after up air, throwing out the Paralyzer laser. Exalted has you had to use his limit right there, unfortunately for him. He's left at a stark disadvantage of percentage, and now he's just trying to slow things down until Cyber's going to overextend, which he did right into the up airs. Wow. Going to be hitting Paralyzer again. But when aggressive up B does allow uh, Exalted yeah. to get back on stage, but that might be a stock. Yes, wow. it is. 
Yeah, see, that's the same thing that we actually saw in game one from Cyber, is the roll reversal of using up B on a shield and just getting punished with a full kill from it. I want to notice something that's kind of funny about our current stream setup. So we're in a different building, right? <laughs> so if somebody like beats another person, they have to walk back together. Yeah, I I've been thinking <laughs> about that. Everyone's been real chill about it, but I was that's like, good. what if someone like really had a bad match? <laughs> gotta, I'm just gonna walk back with your opponent the whole like time. Walk like a block, <laughs> just side by side. Uh, solid yeah. forward tilt, but unfortunately he's gonna be jumping straight into that limit cross slash. He's been using these forward tilts to kind of just mess up Exalted's uh, positioning. I don't usually see the oh. limits actually used. No <laughs> way. Oh, oh no, he's got opportunity. He slid. He slid he's he's across the map. What? <laughs> Two in a row. Two in a row. <laughs> That's just rude. Jesus. What? <laughs> All right, well, this one's going at game <laughs> five. This is spiced up pretty I like it. quickly. I like it. Okay, so uh, we're going back to something a little more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. go ahead, go ahead. Uh, not nearly as exciting as that, but... It speaks for itself, truly. Yeah. Uh, Exalted has been making a much better use of his limit than most clouds, period, actually, throughout this match. And, I like, obviously... Good stuff. You you throw it out. You get damage for free. Right, right, right. You get recovery. All that stuff. But he's you know he's missed a couple of them. But like good hit percentage. But also he's making sure he actually saves them to get important mileage out of it. Like especially kills or combo breaks very consistently and not just throwing it out randomly for damage or not just holding it till it blows in order to get the damage boost to his normals. Yeah. No, I do like his usage of it. You see a lot of these like. Um, it, it goes to show that the level well, there, of cloud that he is. There's one of those mix-ups right there. He, he used the up without the reactivation. It was a right. little bit of mix-up. He got hit for it, which was unfortunate, but it was just enough to give him limit again, and this time the up with limit actually gave him a hit on Cyber, got him out of the combo range. Yeah, the aggression from Cyber really throwing Exalted off of oh his my. game here. Going to be just running at him with dash attack kind of covering all the air around him, and these Zares just putting him into unfortunate tech situations. Yeah, and that time was a true death, too. The DI wasn't going to save Exalted there at all. Man, looking for this reverse 3-0. Yeah, and he's making a good case for it as well over the course of these last two games. And already on this one, finding that stock, he's all to having a hard time. He gets grabbed right there. His landing options are <laughs> red over and over again. No, he's trying to up trying to get out of the situation. Unfortunately, he's still stuck in the cyber mixer. Uh, like and it, it's, it's not slowing down at all. Getting up to ledge. He's finding his shield. Oh. Okay, that up tilt hitting nice and hard and limits back online, but Exalted doesn't get to find it this time. Up smash is going to hit, but with the back weak hitbox. Yeah, the back weak hitbox is such a well, such That's a strange thing. To say. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it is like a tongue twister. I felt like I was saying the word wheat. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the wheat, the wheat thins uh, hitbox. Yeah. Mm. Oh! Wow, just what? jump straight Cyber over it. He's just on top of Exalted's options, catching the drop through with a Zare to follow up with a forward air, slowing down to get that down tilt, neutral B right into shield, and he's catching each of Exalted's aggressive options. He's found Exalted's pace here. He's two stocks ahead. Yeah, this is one of those situations where in your head is definitely something that comes up. He's back on the ledge, and this has been its historically very dangerous position for Exalted, able to jump through, gets that back air, finally finds some life, but he still has two other stocks to deal with here. He's got the limit. He's going to use it to break off that combo, making sure that Cyber doesn't get much off him. But there's one of those where it's not going to get a much percent, unfortunately, landing Nair right on top of Exalted, and we've seen this one before. Yeah, he's going to get punished for it. He just held it a bit too long, and Exalted's not dealing with all of the nonsense. That'll be not going to be finding its mark, and uh, the scuffle, while it is doing pretty well for Exalted so far, uh, the percent that he's trading is carrying over onto his last stock, right? Cyber still has another one after this, so he doesn't really yeah. want to be brawling as much as he can. Yeah, and that's definitely where it's been right here, but that does mean it's a little harder for Cyber to come out of this really far ahead. He's looking for some kill options, and that gets him showing us some more spammy play, if you will. Those down smashes are coming out a little bit more, and a lot of these neutral piece we've been seeing in these last couple moments. Like, you can tell he's looking for his up feet. That's like a full range jab that he just parried. Like across the screen. Oh, oh this no. is Exalted's chance to even things up, but it's just not going to come out for him. At 100%, though, like an up smash will do. And he's looking for those two, because that's a great option. Yeah, he identifies what he needs to do to win here. 
and it's charging up Lemon. And 125% for Cloud, this is a very winnable situation. He's just going to have to play perfectly. Yeah, 20% right there off of catching Cyber, and actually it's been a bit of a role reversal here over the course of the last stock and a half, because Exalted has just found the answers to Cyber's aggression. He's got the limit just about up there as well. He's just got to hang on a little bit longer to make use of is it. Is that going to be it? Man. Yeah, and you could hear him a little bit. You know, learning learning the matchup against another high-level like character specialist, right, on the fly, that's, that's